Have you ever wondered if you got the best shot at a location? Today, my goal is to answer that very question for myself, and hopefully you'll help me decide along the way. Just behind me is a beautiful scene that I have photographed twice before. There's a beautiful pine tree right here. It's kind of uh, in the shadow right now. And then there's this little tree right up here. Both of those are main elements in this photograph, as well as this really disheveled old fence back here. Let's get to that first image. And then later I'll show you what those three images look like side by side and you can decide with a comment on which image you like the most, and maybe you can tell me why. Today I'm at a spot that I've been to a few times before for photography with a specific image in mind, and both of those previous images have been captured at different times of year. Today, it's kind of mid-July, the monsoon is sort of here. The, the clouds are kind of cooperating. Hopefully the rain doesn't come uh, too hard while I'm out here filming. So let me show you the image that I'm talking about. Just in front of the camera here, you'll see this large reddish boulder surrounded by these beautiful grass-like uh, plants with these heavily decaying structures here of what used to be an old fence. And then just off in the far distance, those two trees we talked about, the smaller one up on the hill to the left and the much larger pine tree, kind of directly down from these two fallen logs leading you into the scene. And then the beautiful mountain just behind it, almost providing a background so that that tree can be in a silhouette. It's a beautiful picture. It's one that I have taken before, as I've mentioned. What I'd like to do is show you how I take this photograph because it does require some focus stacking. For this scene, I'll need to take three images and focus stack them in order to create a seamless, sharp image from front to back. The first image I'll take at the back, focusing on the main tree. Then I'll move my focus point up to about the mid-ground. And finally, the third one I'll take on the log just in front of the camera, the closest point the log is at. Then I'll combine these in Photoshop, and here's the result. Now that we've captured the third image, let me show you all three of them side by side so you can see which one you like the most. Thanks for joining me on this adventure here on Camera Crusades. Make sure you hit that like button and I'll see you on that next adventure. <laughs>